Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are perfecting page layout once again. Today we're talking about a very specific thing in the page layout menu uh, called Insert Staff Systems, and the one right below it, Delete Staff Systems. Um, now when you uh, choose the Insert Staff Systems option here, you get this little dialog box, which is fairly simple to understand. Insert X number of systems with X number of measures each and you can choose to insert this new system before system whatever you want here. Now if you select uh, system 4 like I just did, then the number 4 will be pre-filled out here. Uh, if you select 5, then 5 will be filled out here. But you can actually just change this uh, directly in this window uh, to, if you made a mistake in your selection here. And uh, this is how you would do that. And there's also an option to space systems evenly, which would take this page and uh, run the space systems evenly function, which I talked about in a previous video. But for now, I'm just going to show you what happens when we insert the staff systems with one system with four measures before system four, and we click OK, and it does just that. Now, obviously, when you insert a staff system, you're effectively inserting measures as well. And some of you may know that it is actually possible to insert measures uh, in a different way in Finale. I'm just going to right click a measure here with a selection tool, and I'm going to choose Insert Measure Stack and I can also insert four measures this way uh, and click OK. And you'll see that four measures got inserted, but there's a difference here. Now this whole system is uh, eight measures. It's obviously way too scrunched uh, together. It's not exactly what you want. And, uh, but we get the similar result where we have four new measures. So the question becomes, when do you use which one and when to use the other? So my answer to this is that if your systems are not locked, then you should use that, or you can use that uh, insert measure stack, and you won't get this crazy result where you're getting too many measures on a system. If you've already gone through the work of formatting everything and all of your systems are locked with the right number of measures on it and everything, then I think it's a better tool to use this insert staff systems because, um, again, you won't get that result where you have too many measures on the system. Just to kind of show you what I mean by this, if I were to select all in this file and actually unlock the systems, right? So now Finale is automatically flowing these measures based on the measures width. So if you start inserting measures anywhere, um, you'll see what happens is that uh, the measures will sort of, you know, shift over to the right and they will flow on the new systems as needed. So there's really no kind of, there's really not a reason to use that insert staff systems uh, function. However, when everything is locked, like I said, it's much easier or much better really to use this insert staff systems. And uh, so now all of the, you know, the other systems will remain the way they were, which is sort of a better result. Um, the option right below that to delete staff systems will do just what you think it would. So whatever system you have selected, uh, even multiple systems, and you can uh, choose delete staff systems and get rid of both of those systems uh, just like that. All right, so that's sort of what's going on. It seems fairly simple, but there are some caveats that I want to start talking about. There's a couple important pieces of information to know about uh, systems and uh, how they relate to inserting systems here. The first is that you know every system can have its own unique set of uh, staff spacing. So if you look at the staff spacing for this system, you know I don't know if you can see those values, but this number here is 1.23, 1.07 for the left hand between the right hand, but the one below it is 1.3 and one. Um, so these, these uh, staff spacing values can be unique on each system. The other thing that can be unique on each system is actually baseline adjustments. So for my chords here, and this will apply to chords, expressions, and lyrics, as well if I had lyrics and I could show you that as well. But these little baseline triangles, the third one right here is the system baseline adjustment. And this uh, baseline adjustment is attached to the system in a, in a certain way. And you can see that on this second system of this uh, second page, I've made an adjustment to this baseline, the system baseline for the chords here, right? The third uh, system, there's no adjustment. The fourth system uh, has that same kind of adjustment to that third triangle. The thing to understand about both the staff spacing and the baseline adjustments is that they are attached to the particular system. Specifically, the staff spacing for system four is attached to system four. So if I were to start you know, moving 
uh, bars around. If I were to move that one down here, that one down here, and move you know these two over to four, and then these two again down there. Now, this system four consists of entirely different measures than it used to, right? But the staff spacing here still exists as it had been on system four previously. Same thing applies with the baselines, right? So the, the staff adjustments uh, and the baseline adjustments are not sort of connected to the data. They're connected to the system number specifically. So this is system four. All of that information is attached to system four. So what this means is that if you were to try and go about this the other way in terms of like inserting, you know, four measures here and then say, OK, now I'm going to start manually reflowing these. So I push those four down, I push these four down and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you keep on going. Um, that's all well and good. But now this system is on a different system. So these uh, staff spacing values are going to be different than they were up here on system four, if that makes sense. Um, so that's why this function sort of uh, is a little bit better when you use the insert staff system function uh, and insert one system with four measures each, insert new system before uh, system four. What this does to the systems going forward is that now all of the staff spacing that was on system four now exists on system five. The, space, the staff spacing from system five is now on six, six now on seven, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The new system, which is now system four, um, interestingly, the staff spacing doesn't take on any staff spacing from any surrounding system at all. In fact, the staff spacing, no matter what the scenario is, will always be one inch between every staff, no matter what. It's a kind of an oddity, and I was trying to figure this out earlier. Even in the document options, there is this um, default top line and top line distance of one. And I thought this might be the case, and I reset this to see if it would uh, change that. But even if I have this at 1.2, it will always set the, these staffs at one inch regardless. It doesn't matter what you do. When you use the um, insert new staff systems, the staff spacing will always be, um, uh, always be one between staffs. However, where Finale sort of fails in this regard is that unfortunately the baselines don't get shifted in the same manner. And personally, I think this is a little bit of a, a flaw in, in uh, how Finale handles this. So if I look at the uh, baseline for my chords here in this system, which used to be up here, you can see that that offset exists. Whereas before, when this, was, uh, when this data was on system four, uh, this baseline offset wasn't there. So. Uh, again, it's it's uh, kind of creating a little bit of a, a, an issue with the baselines, but adding the uh, the systems in this manner at least at least flows the staff spacing forward, if that makes sense. The same thing applies, by the way, if you do this the other way. So if I were to take system five and choose to delete system five altogether. Now the data from system six is now on system five. The staff uh, spacing values from system six now go to system five, seven to six, eight to seven, et cetera. Again, the same issue with the baselines exists though. Uh, it seems that the effectively what's going on is that the, the baselines uh, seem to be attached to the system number, like hard attached to the system number. You can't ever change the you can't ever flow the baselines from one system to another which is sort of um, a bit of a problem but I'm going to show you a, a, a little bit of a workaround which I, I think um, is nice the other thing that I want to mention before I get too much farther here is that when you do insert uh, staff systems like this in a score you know the thing you have to realize is that uh, staff systems are completely independent between scores and the linked parts, and even between you know uh, individual linked parts, uh, because if you think about it, the uh, the layout between a part and a score doesn't necessarily have to be the same. Um, in this case, it is the same because I've set all of these to be four measures each, but it doesn't always have to be, and, and very often it's not the same. Um, so Finale has really has no way to kind of rectify this. So um, what it's doing is really only adding the system where 
uh, in the part or score that you're viewing, and everywhere else it's doing that thing where, as if you had uh, inserted four measures using the insert measure stack. So now you get this result on this system here, where you have all eight measures here sort of bunched up on the same system, which is what I showed you when you would normally do the insert measure stack, right? So in this case, when you do that, you kind of have to make a choice about where is it better to insert that system. In a lot of cases, it might make more sense to do it in the score because there's just so much more micro adjustments to spacings that you do in the score. It's much easier to deal uh, with the fallout of this in the parts than it is in the score, in my opinion. You know, something like this, it's easy enough to just you know, fit measures back to four measures a, a piece, and you're all, you're all set to go. All right, so that's sort of, um, you know, that's that's sort of what's going on there. I do want to talk about a couple of plugins that actually help with a little bit of these uh, issues that I've been talking about. So let's go here again. I'm going to insert a staff system before uh, system four again, just like this. And once again, the thing about this is that the staff spacing will always be set to one. So there's just not much you can do about that. Um, however, there is a nice little Patterson plugin. Now, this is a third-party plugin, so you'll have to uh, go fetch this, and there's a link on my website. Um, but there is a Patterson plugin in the miscellaneous category here called uh, Copy System Layout. Now, this uh, this um, plugin has a, a lot of functions, including you're, you're able to actually um, uh, copy uh, system layouts from other files into the file you're looking at. So there's a lot of stuff going on here from scores to parts, all kinds of things. But in this case, what I want to do is just use this for a single purpose. Um, and what I'm going to do is copy from a single staff. In this case, now that I've added this staff, I know that this is uh, a system five here. Uh, I'm going to copy it from system five and I'm going to copy it to uh, system four. Right, and I'm gonna just deselect the baselines here because uh, I I don't necessarily want the baselines to copy over there, uh, but you can if if you need to. Um, but but again, all I'm doing is this is really just resetting the staff spacing. That's kind of exactly what this does, and you click go, and now you can see that your staff spacing will indeed match. That's 1.23 and 1.07, and the next system down is 1.23 and 1.07. So that's a really nifty little um, quick workaround for that. Um, of course, you could do it the other way if you wanted to, say, copy the, um, uh, the, the settings from system three. You could do it that way, too. So from system three uh, to system four, and that would actually just copy the settings from the previous system. So there's a couple options um, about uh, you know fixing the staff spacing here uh, for that inserted system. The other issue that I mentioned is the baseline issue. And if we look at the uh, chord baselines for this right hand, you'll see this one is, is set to even, this one is set to high, this one is set to even. Again, I'm, I'm looking at this third triangle. Uh, this one is set to high, and this one over here now is set to even. But this should actually be one uh, offset from that. So this one should be even, the next one should be high, etc. So again, it's not when you insert that staff system, it's not flowing those um, system by system baseline changes as well. But there's another Patterson plugin right next to that one that will also fix this if you use it in a certain way. So again, miscellaneous copy system baselines. And uh, again, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this. Um, and in this case, I am going to check all the baselines that I want to do here. And I'm going to leave it, you know, this file to this file, this score to this score. And the way I'm going to set this up is a little bit unique. So if you think about what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to basically flow the baselines down one from uh, the point of the insertion all the way to the end of the file. Now it will show you that I have 43 systems here, and you can select all 43 systems to copy from. Um, I'm just using this as reference, but I know that what I want to do is change uh, or, or copy from a range. In this case, the fourth um, uh, system all the way through the second to last system, which is going to be 42, right? And then what I want to do is copy it to the starting system now, which is going to be system five. So if you think about what this means, it's going to put uh, the baselines from systems four through 42 into systems five, starting at system five, and basically going until it runs out of systems, which is going to be 43, right? So baselines four through 42 copied to five through 43. And uh, just having it set up exactly like this 
and uh, selecting go, you'll see that now my baselines have been fixed, where now this one is set to the way it was on system four. This baseline is set to the way it was on the previous system, etc. And then all the way down the line, the baselines will now be fixed. It's kind of a, uh, a really unique um, fix for this, for a very kind of strange little oddity that, uh, that occurs with these baselines. But that's actually a, a great little fix. It's the Patterson plugins um, that I'm looking at. It's the copy, pay, uh, sorry, copy system layout and the copy system baselines uh, plugins right there that kind of fix both of those issues. All right, so there you go. That was um, all you could ever possibly need to know about inserting and deleting staff systems. It seems fairly simple, but now that you uh, have some more information about some of the, uh, the deeper things that go on with that, I think you'll be in much better shape. Again, remember, just kind of you can use that when your systems are locked. If your systems are, are not locked, don't worry about that so much. You can just choose the uh, insert measure stack because Finale is going to reflow your bars onto new systems anyway at that point. So. All right, so I think that's it uh, for this video. Um, the next thing I'm gonna deal with is page breaks. And actually, there is some implications for this exact thing that I'm doing with inserting and deleting staff systems when there are page breaks involved. So I'll talk about that as well in the next video and also how to add and, and delete page breaks and all that stuff, which is uh, important as well. So once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you soon on the next video.